welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse News Update. Lots to talk about today, again, lots revealed. They must be gearing up for a New York Comic Con, of course, which starts tomorrow, October 17th, runs through the 20th. I will be there at the New York Comic Con, covering all the latest and greatest toys and pop culture news. Also, for those interested, I've teamed up with Entertainment Earth this entire weekend, and coming soon, you can find out how you can win a $250 gift card to Entertainment Earth. So thanks again to Entertainment Earth for hosting that giveaway. It's going to be an absolute blast. It's going to be across my social channels, so just stay tuned. But we got lots of DC Multiverse figures to talk about today. But before we get started, as always, if you're interested in anything we're going to be talking about here today, we'll have affiliate pruder links when applicable down in the description below. Keep in mind, there will be various places where these are available, various times, yada yada, but just keep an eye on the pre-order links, keep an eye on my socials, I'll be updating constantly. First and foremost, for those of you who are fans of the Snyderverse, well... This is about as restored as it is probably going to get. This is a Walmart exclusive gold label two pack featuring Batman and Batman. Well, one's a nightmare Batman and then one's the armored suit Batman. So you got a little Justice League. You got a little Batman versus Superman action going on. These are a bit of a variant from the single releases that we've seen. The armored Batman has some battle damage. Does not have a wired cape, though. It's plastic, but it does come with guns. Guns oh plenty. And that's one thing where when I saw the Snyderverse thing, I was like, oh, yeah, that's definitely Batman. I know. I'm not here. I, I don't want to discuss it. I know a lot of you, oh, man, it's so good. What are you thinking? I get it. I don't care for it. Let's go with Batman forever. There's no guns in that. Batman doesn't carry around a gun. It's just good old-fashioned comic booky fun. That's what I want to see. But for you peoples out there that loves this kind of stuff, here you go. You got two-pack, you got a stand, you got guns, you got extra hands for the armored Batman. It's an absolute Snyderverse dream, he thinks. You can go Rebel moon all day if you so choose. So again, if you are interested in this gold label Walmart exclusive, yeah, you can grab the links down in my description below. Now, continuing on with the Snyderverse, we have Darkseid. And I know a lot of people out there are going to go, no, his name is Uexus. <laughs> Which is even worse. Come on. Darkseid. The, 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 just Darkseid. Jack Kirby must be spinning in his grave, but it's not just dark side. You get a throne base, and when I say a throne base, some of it's plastic, some of it's cardboard. You get a dark side figure. It's going to be largely the same. A little bit of a different paint scheme to him. You got his big old dark side weapon. The throne looks pretty cool. In fact, I'm sure you could use it with a number of different figures. It's going to be oversized. Think about the size of dark side himself. But the background is cardboard, which makes me very cardboard of this figure. Ah, uh, it's just not for me. I, I don't mean to rag on anybody that likes the Snyderverse stuff. We're all having fun. I like dumb stuff too. It's totally cool. We just lightly jab each other. Nobody takes offense. We're all just having fun. The Justice League Dark Side with his throne oversized figure. I mean, again, it looks pretty cool when he's all set up, but it's just the fiery background with the cardboard. I wish it had some kind of light up effect, something like that to really kind of drive home like, yeah, we're using cardboard, but yeah, at the same time, it looks pretty cool, right? No, no. Anyways, you can let me know down in the comments below. Now to move on to the Walmart Collector's Edition. This will be a Walmart exclusive, as I'm told as of right now. So keep in mind, things could change, but if you want this normal version of Lightning Lad, Walmart is the place to be. That being said, just always keep in mind, <laughs> you never know with McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures. You got two versions of Lightning Lad. You got the old school version and the new school version. The new school version has swap out faceplates. You also get some electrical effects. You get the card, you get the stand, but you don't get a card stand. That's that's good. That's <laughs> at least we did something collectively when we talk about all these figures. But lo and behold, wouldn't you know it, Camp Crystal Lake Collector over on Instagram went into his Arizona Walmart and walked out with the newest wave. Well, some of them, to be honest. So here's a look at the Platinum Edition Lightning Lad, which is 
Lightning Lad in more of his classic Legion of Superheroes costume. Here's the barcode if you want to go out and search for it. So as of right now, yeah, if you want this, Walmart in-store is the place to be. Keep in mind, Platinums go every which way, which means in McFarlane rules, as far as the rules dictate, the standard version of Lightning Lad is a Walmart exclusive. The Platinum version would go everywhere. Me thinks. Hopefully. Again, you never know. You just you never know. With them, it's always a toss-up. It's fun. Who's having fun? Raise your hand. Simon Baz. He's the next Green Lantern for the McFarlane Collector's Edition. He looks pretty cool. Now, I'm going to agree, there's missing elements to him, like the gun and the gun holster. But uh, it's like, we know why. We know why it's not there by now. We don't need to beat a dead horse. Warner Brothers... What you doing? You're allowing some figures for guns. Maybe it's a timetable thing, right? This was in production. Then they said, yes, who knows? It's kind of, again, hey, what are the rules? We don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a toss up. Simon Baz comes with a number of constructs. He's got the lantern. He's got swappable face plates as well. And I do honestly think he looks pretty cool Overall, I will be grabbing this when I find it in store. But of course, Camp Crystal Lake Collector beat us all to it. He also found Simon Bass. Did not find a platinum version just yet. I'm sure there will be one. We can always imagine what that may be. But here's the barcode if you are looking for old Simon Bass. And then, of course, everyone's favorite character, Grid, gets his own DC Multiverse McFarlane Collector's Edition figure. <laughs> A lot of people in the comments are going, is that Metallo? See, when you have a character that looks like another character, but you really have no idea who it is, you just kind of gravitate towards what you know. Well, it's Metallo, right? Yeah, you could treat it as Metallo if you like. I had to look this up. It's basically Cyborg's body taken over by a sentient computer virus because that's just a Tuesday with anything regarding the Justice League. But Grid... And I'll be honest with you, it's a cool looking figure. It is very much in that wheelhouse of McFarlane toys. I'm glad they did a good job with this. It looks creepy, terrifying. He's got a big old glacier gun arm, whatever is attached to him. It's Metallo. Just, <laughs> just, just go with Metallo. He looks Metallo-ish. God dang it, Camp Crystal Lake Collector. You, you just, you just finding things up a storm. This guy, he's got a magic walmart that's for sure be sure to check him out on instagram he always finds the latest and greatest but as you can see the platinum edition for grid he's all in a green sort of green lantern-ish tone so if you want that version or the standard for me standard version i think looks better wouldn't be opposed to this one but ultimately i want the the standard version of grid and no one not anywhere has ever said those exact words all strung together here's the barcode for grid. Moving on, we have Mr. Terrific. And if I'm being honest, it is the newer version, but he does look great. And I think that you have all the elements of Mr. Terrific. Yes, I would have preferred. And yes, I'm going to guess if there's a platinum version, I think it's going to be more of the gray tone of the face instead of the red. That just seems to be the rules of McFarlane Toys. It's the one everybody wants. Make that the platinum version it's just like a way to get people into stores in it at this point you gotta make the one everybody wants the rare chase so you go into the stores and then the stores go hey we got a lot of traffic of people looking for stuff and they're buying candy bars and not just mcfarlane i see what you're doing i get it <laughs> Smarts. You get multiple face plates for Mr. Terrific. You have his cloth goods removable jacket. That looks awesome. You have his T spheres. You got a couple particle effects, extra hand. I'm liking this. I like this Mr. Terrific. Again, I think that he looks pretty cool. If in fact the, and if there is a Platinum Edition version, and it is like the normal kind of face color for Mr. Terrific with the more of the gray, that's the one I would ultimately want. I don't mind this new version. It just, I don't really know. I like the whole Justice League Unlimited version of Mr. Terrific. That's the one I would go for. But if I find this one verse, heck, yeah, I'll be adding him to the old collection. And then a lot of you thought this was a coming, and it, it came true. You kind of willed it into existence. So, yes, this is the Christopher Reeve Superman. He has a wired cape. He's got the S shield on the cape. Thank goodness. And I do like the look of this figure, if I'm being honest. Everyone needs to start really thinking for the price point of figures, of what you're getting, these are toys. They are articulated 
action figures. Yes, the NECA Toys one looks great. It's very minimally articulated. Yes, the Mezco one. As cracked out as it looks, it's articulated, it looks good, it's got cloth goods. This is the McFarlane version. They're gonna put articulation in there. It's gonna have the giant pins. That's what McFarlane makes. It's not like a surprise every time I see it, like, oh my God, again? It's, it's been like this for years now, in fact. You got two head portraits, you got multiple hands, one of them holding a kryptonite piece, I think that's pretty cool. Overall, if you want a Christopher Reeve, and this is the other thing to everyone, it's funny. They go, oh man, that is, uh, uh, it looks so bad. Oh, he's got that weird cut. Oh man, the legs. You'll buy it. <laughs> I guarantee you, I'll see it on your page. You'll, you'll buy it. That's always the thing. Everybody goes, oh, let's nitpick, pick, pick, pick. And then you buy it. <laughs> don't buy it if you don't like it. So you kind of like it. Let's, let's be more honest with our feelings. I'm not a fan of Superman Christopher Reeves movies. There you go. In fact, you know what would have been funny? If the extra head portrait and... This would actually be overall funny if the collector's edition was like his drunken, downtrodden, depressed self from, what was it, Superman 3? That. That would be funny. That would be an awesome platinum edition. If there is a platinum edition, we shall soon see. But that will wrap it up for my quick look at a ton of new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures. A vast majority of will be available during the Walmart Collector Con. They will also be available elsewhere. I'll have all the various links so you won't have to go to any trouble finding them. They'll be down in the description below. But you have heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We got a whole heck of a lot more to talk about. New York Comic Con, we got Entertainment Earth giveaways. It's gonna be a blast. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.